Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video. I want to share what I created for March's recipient for the 2024 Pen Pal collab that my BFF Paulette is hosting. For March, it was Mariposa. For Actually, for February, it was Mariposa. March, that's this package going out, is for Crafty Mama, and January was Poet Spice. I will be the recipient in April, and Paulette will be the recipient of from May. So because there were five of us, you would get four Happy Mail packages or Pen Pal packages every month from the other four people. And the only major requirement was to have a handwritten letter. And in each package that I've sent, I've tried to send like um, some sweet treats, some things that they can maybe use in their stash. If not, they can give. I don't mind. And just some fun things that I've had in my stash or may have created. So I try to go with whatever, like if there's a holiday for that month. So for February, I did Valentine's Day. So for this month, I decided to go with Easter. So like I said, a lot of the things I already had in my stash have already created. Like this little box right here, I made last year, little bunny box. I have this little, um, what is this? A carrot, <laughs> it's a carrot with some candy in it. Um, some jacks and then a little sucker that's taped to the back. I also made this little no glue box. I just recently made this. I do have a project share and I have some caramels in here. And then another little box that I made probably two years ago. Um, I used to send a lot of Happy Mail. I still send a lot, but not as much as I used to. There's some of these gold, little gold coin chocolates in there for her. I tend to send a lot of food now. I don't even know why. <laughs> here's some more, this cute little chick egg box. And there's some shortbread cookies in here. I had some from the little tea theme um, Happy Mail that I recently sent out. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link it at the end of this video. But I had a lot of that, a lot of these little cookies, like shortbread cookies left over. So I added some of those. There's some felt Easter stickers, some cute little carrot stickers. I kind of went overboard with these because I loved them so much. And then these little chalkboard butterfly pens. And these are some little flower ornaments that she can color herself. There's also this little cute girl stamp with the umbrella, I thought. And some of these puffy stickers, and I had one of these little clips left over. I used to do a lot of swaps with Tracy at TYS Creates. I have a lot of her embellishments and stuff still. And that's something that she created for me. And I'm also sending this card right here. Plastic. I used to do a lot of swaps on coffee cake, a coffee cake and crafting, and this is a card that I've had in my stash for a long time. I love this card, um, but I decided not to hold on to it anymore. This was made by Marcy V, and this was back in 2018. So that just shows you how long I've had and cherished this card. I actually have a lot of cards that people have sent me. I try to take care of them um, and get inspired by them. I look through them all the time. And so I'm going to give her that card. My letter's going to be in that card. And then I made this cute little um, notebook holder. It's going to be my Share More Project. Well, it was my Share More Projects um, with friends for this month. And I got the tutorial from Tiffany Crafting Like a Boss McGill. I do have a full video project share on this, but this is just a little Maggie Holmes notebook holder that I made for her. I didn't show this because I didn't have them yet, but this is a little notebook that I used from Dollar Tree and I went with the one that had the plastic covers on it. Um, yeah, so it just goes back like that. And it kind of slides out because I put my little hanger thing low, but I didn't want to put adhesive on it because I didn't want the um you know the notebook to get stuck in there and then I made her some card bases so what I did was this is a file from my cameo silhouette and this is a textured craft I don't know how well you can see that these are the envelopes these fairly large envelopes this is like a textured piece too but I used this paper that I've been using for a while 
and I made her some slimline card bases. So that one with this envelope and then this cute one right here in the pink. And that'll go with this envelope. And then I also made her two little three by three note cards. So it, they match the slimline cards. And I do have the envelopes to go with them. So that'll be going to her as well. And that's all I am sending to Crafty Mama for this month's Pen Pal collab. If you haven't seen any of the other reveal videos, the videos are being posted. I'm posting what I'm sending as well as what I'm receiving. And a lot of us are. So I'll have all the ladies links, um, um, links to their channels down in the description box. So be sure to check those out. If you have any questions, please leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you all so much for watching. Stay safe and have a great day.